Okay, basically, Nightmare on Elm Street is one of my favorite franchises. I'll be completely honest with you that I'm a big fan of Ray. He's my favorite killer in all the movies. And let me just say, I am very happy to do this. I am sad to inform you that I am going to try to make this as best as possible, but I'm going to have to tell you that you might not like this as much as Christ Christ. Because the confusion where we're at that is basically the game. But, most of all, most of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies are good. Except 2. 2 was horrible. Don't even get me started with 2. It's just, it sucked, man. It really, really sucked. Hi everyone, I'm Jack Red, and um, this is my video on crime confused about Nightmare on Elm Street. I, I'm sad to inform you that there's only one confusion of the whole fa uh, franchise, and if I go on about this, you know, it, don't expect this to be as long as my last one, which was probably confused about Friday the 13th. So, I'm going to show you both the game's covers, and then I'm going to explain how both games play. Okay, this is Nightmare on Elm Street on the PC and Commodore 64, which is a bad game, and then there's the NES one, which is licensed by LGN, but made by Rare, which is a good game. Alright, basically, both of these games are of the same license. However, they play very differently. And for me to explain this, I'm going to have to bring in a couple pictures as I explain it to give you a good idea of how both of these play. And, yeah, you can already tell I, I hate one of them and I love the other one. Well, Nightmare on Elm Street on the NES is basically a platform similar to, in a sense, Super Mario Brothers and one of my personal favorites of all time, Sonic the Hedgehog, for the sake of Genesis. Well, the other one, surprisingly, it resembles, and I'm not joking people, Gambit series. Yep, the original couple of games of Gambit. Alright, this is the title screen on the NES version, and I really like it. That's a reference to two. This is the gameplay. I tried to find the bigger picture, so I do typically apologize. Now, this is the one on the PC in Commodore 64 one. You see a very brief bone, then he claws right through it. Then this is actually the gameplay. I got it off of iMicry.com. Okay, for the NES version of Nightmare on Elm Street, you basically, <clears throat> every time you start it up, the, the first three houses are always going to be random. So you won't know offhand which one it's going to be until you actually try going in one of them. And then from there you go into the junkyard, and then you go into the cemetery, then you go into Freddy's house, and then finally the elementary school. Basically your main objective is simple. Collect all Freddy's bones and defeat Freddy. Now, each house, or place you gotta go to, you got one boss. It is a different form of Freddy. At the end you gotta fight all these forms with uh, Freddy. Now if you fall asleep and get Freddy's coming screen, you immediately fight the Freddy as himself. Now, if you do that, you get some experience of fighting him in the la uh, end because he's not that difficult of a boss. Now, you gotta admit, for LGN, this is definitely one of their best. And then the other one, I have to say I'm horrible at this point. I've seen a walkthrough on it, I'm not impressed. I'm, uh, look at my face, I'm definitely not impressed. You only get one boss fight, you get all these enemies you, you, you don't even give a crap about. Um, you you basically get, get, get really confused playing it. So it is a really, really bad game. I can't even believe something like this actually got made. I hope I answered the confusion that is on Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, before I end the video, I'm going to want you to know that offhand that I am working on one for Creepshow. There is a confusion currently going on with them and I just figured to try to make this the best of my build. Now, <clears throat> another thing I must let you know is next month I'm going to start making the one for Halloween. And I'm going to spend probably the whole month making sure this video is up to date. And then a couple of weeks into uh, uh, August, you know, so I can actually get it released on the day before H2 comes out. So, with that being said, I'm Jack Red. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all later.